Hi, this is Heidi Highland coming to you from Minnesota, Zone 4A here. We used to be Zone 3, now we're 4A, um, and I'm in my front yard. We're going to talk about front yard gardening today. Front and center, Manhattan real estate, what do you want to do in your front yard? Connecting with the community is so important, and I put vegetables in my front yard. I certainly try to have fragrance up here. I also try to have a couple of different seasons going on at the same time. Here I have my dog Zell is looking at my Allium giganteum. Huge big ball on this Allium that's just about to fade. It's um, a lot taller than this other Allium here. This is Allium Christophii. A little bit shorter and much more fireworks on that bloom. Isn't that stunning? I mean, that's really incredible. We jack in the box these bulbs all the time where you intermingle them with bulbs with other annuals and perennials so that when the foliage dies back down you don't need to watch it. My cat doesn't care if the foliage is here but I might not want to look at this dying down tulip foliage at my front door. So many times in zone 4a tulips don't always come back as a perennial. I think we talked about that last time. This variety did so well for me though that I'm willing to put up with it. I simply cut off the blooms of this particular Antoinette tulip was the name. It was phenomenal. So I want to see how well it does next year. I'm not well willing to give that one up. We find the tulips that can perennialize for us. Maybe you get a couple of seasons of bloom out of them. So I'll give them one more year. These alliums, however, really do perennialize well. And these Christophii ones really um, are a fabulous combination with this Heuchera Midnight Rose. Now, Heucheras many times, coral bells is its common name, they're grown more for their foliage than they are for their bloom. This is a bloom that I don't really appreciate. So maintenance-wise, I'm just simply going to take off these bloomscapes, and I appreciate much more the combination of the purple foliage of, purple bloom of the allium with that Midnight Rose foliage, minus the bloom. Time is considered a steppable. You can tread on it many times and it'll bounce right back. Certainly the short varieties of time. This one is lemon thyme, which is just very fragrant. So if you brush against it as you're coming to my front door, I like to have ornamental edibles close at hand. And it's right in front of my very favorite flower, which is an Edelweiss. Um, that is what my company logo is shaped after is an Edelweiss and it professes love um, is what the, the flower means to me. When a young boy in uh, Salzburg, Austria is in love with a young woman, he climbs to the rocky crags of the top of the mountain to pluck an Edelweiss for her, which is where they grow in nature. So a drought tolerant site, um, just like it grows in nature, is the best plant uh, for this application, is the best type of plant for this application. So an Edelweiss or a thyme, uh, steppables like that in a front sidewalk work great. I've also got um, low-growing uh, portulaca here. This is a type of moss rose. You can just see the blooms beginning on that. Isn't that incredible color?